And so when it says that walk is not in the counsel of the ungodly, this walk is really referring to those that we are in agreement with, right? In Amos 3 and 3, I'll pop it up on the screen. It speaks about how two cannot walk together unless they agree, right? And so we have to have a common ground and or be going in the same direction when we are walking with somebody, right? Because I'm not going to walk with somebody if we ain't walking in the same direction. It's just like it's taking me out of my way. Why would I do that, right? And so... Even believers, we have to understand that we cannot walk with God unless they agree with him, right? Unless we agree with what God is saying, what he is telling us to do, we can't walk with him because then we are going in the opposite direction of him, right? And so keeping that in mind, as you walk with someone, you talk with them, right? You share and you exchange information. You discuss life and share experience. This also includes spirits, and again, it's saying that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, right? And so when you are walking with an ungodly person, right, and you're getting this counsel, whether that's advice, whether that's just sharing what you've gone through and them sharing what they've gone through, if you are not spiritually in tune, you can pick up spirits. And many people tend to wonder why when they discuss certain things with non-believers, that they begin to feel a type of way, right? They might begin to think a certain type of way because you're picking something up as you're walking with that person, right? And you're technically in agreement with whatever they're saying, right? And so believers can never find themselves in agreement with the ungodly. We can't. There's just no way for us to be in agreement with them because we are going in a direction of God, whereas the ungodly are going in the opposite direction, which would be towards Satan, right? And so you cannot walk with an ungodly person unless... There is an unless, right? You are sharing or ministering the gospel. And the reason I say that is because they cannot give a believer any sound counsel, 